Hey, what's up, YouTube? Spike Man Dan. Welcome to Spike TV, first network for men. Salute to all who watches. So, anyways, back down to what I've got going right here on in front of me is uh, the Predator 212 breakdown. I got the whole entire thing broke down. Stick around. We're going to show you it just here shortly. So, there's a whole bunch of pictures of the breakdown and the project of the engine that I'm going to be showing you guys in a slideshow, so enjoy that. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Spike Man Dan. Anyways, back to what I was telling you guys earlier. I've got the Predator 212 completely broke down. I've also got the new aftermarket billet aluminum flywheel. The aftermarket billet aluminum connecting rod to the piston already installed to the piston itself. And then we've also got the the racing rods, I do believe. Oh snap. Oh snap. It's a, it's a tug of war. Yeah, alright. Yeah, we also got the Chromoly racing push rods. I do believe I have it upside down. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah. NR racing Chromoly push rods. How you like me now? So we got that for the valve train. And then we have the 26 pound, not the 18 pound, those are little baby springs in my opinion. But I got the 26 pound. I cannot flex these at all. The 18 pound are way easier. But these ones, you're just not getting anywhere with those. So I got a tool coming from Amazon on the way for that. And then another thing I noticed about the stock connecting rod to the uh, 212 is no rod bearing. No rod bearing. This one comes with a rod bearing. It's already sitting in there. And the reason they do that is because this engine's going to see probably 8,000 plus RPMs. No doubt about that. So, with that being said, I'm going to do a little vi video segments here and there um, trying to get this thing put all back together and stick around. Well, hey, I really hope you all enjoyed that uh, slide video. So I'm trying to put a little bit of everything together until I get the new parts ordered, such as the 12-point uh, millimeter sockets for the uh, connecting rod. I'm not going to be able to progress forward on this engine until I get the uh, correct parts and stick around. So we're, we're going to get these parts and we're going to make sure we get this shit done right. So... Uh, it's it's going to be uh, a bit of a minute, but we'll get it put together the right way, best believe. 
Thank you for watching uh, Spike TV, first network for men. My name is Spike Man Dan. Thank you for watching. I salute thee who watches. And don't forget to stick around for the next episode of this engine build.